everyone, my name is Maricela and I love making mosaics. I would like to share the way I do it with you in case you want to make a special gift for a special person. I hope you enjoy the video. We're going to be working on the um, heart that I showed you before. So I bought this from the craft store and I'm gonna put them together because I feel that one is too, too thin to hold the mosaic. So I'm gonna glue them together. They are very inexpensive. They were like 80 cents each. So I got two. Then I got this chain that I found at the hardware store. And this is for the ceiling fans to turn them on and off. And I think this is pretty to put it on the border. Also, you're gonna need the mosaics. These are really easy to find. They come in this package. They are already um, cut and they have different colors. So what I did is got a couple and then chose the colors that I wanted for this particular mosaic. I gave them a wash because they are very dusty, so rinse them before you're gonna use it so they stick really well on the surface. Also, we're gonna use different uh, glues. This one is to stick the stained glass on the wood, and this is to uh, stick these two pieces together. This is for wood. All right. Also, we're gonna need a design. I picked this one that I'm gonna be passing to the wood with carbon paper. Then for the tools, you need this. This is really easy to find in the craft store. It's a double wheeled um, nipper, and then it's to cut the pieces easily like this. And also you're gonna need protection for your eyes. So, okay, first step, let's put these pieces together. Take your glue. While the heart is drying underneath all this weight, I forgot to mention that you are going to need letters if you want to put the message around that heart. And this is my package, but they sell smaller packages if you don't want to buy this big thing. After I left this drying for 24 hours, I put a coat of acrylic paint for the wood to be sealed and also for um, for you to see better the design. So first thing I'm gonna do is transfer the design to the heart. Next step, let's pick a big piece enough to um, have the heart done, which is the main central piece. So I'm gonna try to use this one. And then we, piece, we take a piece of carbon paper again, put the heart here, lock it, Draw again the heart, cut, I got it ready, there it is, 
now I'm gonna proceed to cut. So first I place my protection glasses I wear. Then I use this box because I can, it prevents you to have a mess in your room. Because you're gonna be cutting this way and then having pieces of glass everywhere. So better to have the box. And then you go out around the line like this. Leave this middle area for the last because it's the hardest one. Then go around with small cuts like this. Right, then we go in this area which is a little harder so you want to be very careful not to cut the piece in two because we want to hold hard let go slowly like this And ta-da, I got it. Okay, now let's see how it fits here. All right, looks good there. You see, nice. Okay, let's keep going. Next step, I'm gonna glue the heart here and I'm going to add the letters since I know I want to put the letter. So you can put it here or directly to the heart. I'm gonna do it here so you can see. You don't need too much, but not too little because it can come out when you grout it. So I don't know, it's hard to see, but there is a small amount of glue there. Then choose the side that you want to use. I probably want to use this one like this and boom i put it nice there fantastic then in the meantime you take your letters make the words that you want to add and we're going to put them around here so i chose to do you are the sunshine in my heart and i have it already put it in order here see so i'm going to be transferring these letters over here then we put the glue first. Again, a reasonable amount of glue there. You can wait a little bit so it gets a little thick. And then you start putting your letters. You don't have to be perfect right away. You can put them one after the other. Then once you have everything together, you can decide how much space you want in, in between the words or how much space you have in between. This, this is just the right amount of space. So you still have time before the glue dries to move them around the way you want. Okay, feel free to use some tools like this one to place your items. There you go. So you, you wait a little bit to for this to dry and you can start with designing the pieces that are gonna be on these areas. So I put it on the side to dry and I use my design on the paper and then so I can use this as a guide. So I finish with this part to show you how it's gonna look. And, but before transferring these uh, glasses to the heart, I decided to do the border first because that way we have a um, mark where we need to stop the um, little pieces so um, and not go over because if you add this afterwards, it might not be a good size. So we're gonna be adding this 
to the border like that. Okay, so take your glue and go all the way around. There you go. Let it dry and then we start with the pieces. So this is what I have accomplished so far. So I decided to make elongated shapes, cut the glass this way to make it look like almost like a paint straw. And um, so you can experiment a little bit with the way you cut it. So I realized if you do it in the middle, it makes it a little awkward, a, a little funny shape. You can experiment. If you do it more on the edge, like as I was saying before, it's more straight or you get, yeah, you get more straight lines, even though this is a triangle. Sorry, it's too small to show. Maybe with this color, you can see better. So here in the edge is more straight and then if you do it in the middle it's gonna be a different shape so this is what i'm trying to get today to make the rays look like rays of sun i think i can start putting the pieces here in the meantime i went ahead and cut a bunch of pieces the way i wanted to be ready to just put it directly to the design all right, so we put some glue again. And there we go, I got one. Almost there. I'm just missing the central area that I'm gonna be doing right now. Now that the middle area is all done, I'm gonna be cutting strings of the chain and put it in between the um, rays of sun to give them more definition. And this is it, all done. Isn't that pretty? Looking nice, huh? Next thing to do is the grout. In my next video, I'm gonna show you how to prepare it and apply it to the mosaic. Before starting with the grout, I'm gonna mask the back part of the heart and uh, because I don't want that to get dirty with the um, grout you can also mask over here if you want I, I'm gonna cover with the grout this part as well so I'm not gonna mask it let's talk about the materials that you're gonna need to grout your project I use this this is um, grout that comes in powder but there is grout that comes already prepared and you can use that one then i have a little bowl 
and an old spoon that I use and then you need sponges. This is one that is very handy for small surfaces and I use these ones that also you can find them at the hardware store easily. You need also um, water and a bucket. Bucket and water. I have my dirty water there. So because when you finish the project, you don't want to put this down the drain because it's gonna clog your pipes. Now that I cover my working area with paper because it's gonna be easier to clean, I start with the grout. I'm gonna try to do like a brownish color, more neutral to see if those colors that I chose are gonna pop up. Once you get the consistency and the amount you want, also the color, then you are ready to use it on your project. And um, this is what you want, it needs to be thick. And then take into account that once it's gonna dry, it's gonna look lighter than this. I like what I have here. So let's put it on the project. Very gentle, pushing through the areas that don't have, you know, the spaces in between the pieces of glass. After you let it set for about 20 minutes, we need to start working on removing the excess. Take the sponge, wet the water and remove as much water as you can from the sponge then slowly and softly start removing the excess grout This is it. We are all done. Look how pretty it is. Nice. I'm going to be adding a um, hanger on, on the top here and my signature at the bottom. Um, and then this is going to be ready to go. I hope you enjoy making your own mosaic as well. And that I'm going to see you back in my channel for more unique creations with Mosaics by Maricela.